one of the issues I think we've got to work with as we think about the future is are we involved in child protection or risk management for all the change that has occurred? And it's genuine change, it's real change, it's been wonderful change. At the same time, I see often in church procedures a certain ambiguity, a certain ambivalence about what is the reason why we are doing what we are, we are, we are doing. To a considerable extent, it can be about risk management. It can be about um, insurance. It can be about protecting ourselves from complaints. The number of times of the years I've heard people say, oh, we've got to make sure you're not alone with somebody because you might be accused of abuse. As if there was a, a vast number of children all over Australia who were just waiting to accuse an adult of child sexual abuse. But it does happen. It does happen, it happens rarely. And I've seen over the years fear-driven approaches to child protection. We must do this because I may be accused, or you may be accused, or we, may, we must do this because we may be sued, we may be found negligent. And so one of the issues, I guess, for, the, for you as you engage in this work across Australia and New Zealand is thinking about what drives it. Is it about risk management, is it about insurance, or is it about the love of God for the most vulnerable in our, in our churches? I believe it has to be the latter. That will look after the, the other. That will look after the other. But sometimes we have to make some hard choices. And at the end of, of, of the day, I think we have to be driven by concern for children's safety, concern for children's welfare, concern for the, the vulnerable, and let everything else take care of itself. And that may, in some situations, may drive us in a way of making some right choices. I, I have numerous times had conversations with church leaders about what happens when a minister or a youth worker or somebody moves from one denomination to the other. Maybe it happens less with the STA, I, I, I don't know, but um, that man I, I told you about went from one church into the youth ministry of another church, and there was no communication. The first church knew this man's history but said nothing to the other church, did not follow him, did not find out what he was doing, even when confronted, and this is 15 years ago, but even when confronted, when the leaders of that first church, when told he was running the youth group in another denomination on the far side of the mountains, said nothing to do with us. Why? because they were afraid of privacy issues and being sued for revealing this man's history. But if we were driven by the love of God, if we were driven by concern for children's well-being, we would say, well, we'll take that risk and we will reveal what we know. And we will pass on to the other churches what we know about this, this man. There's been an incredible spirit of cooperation, I think, in the last 10 or 15 years between churches on these issues, but it was not always so. And we need to make sure, in my view, that it continues to be shown so that we look afresh each time to our motivations and say, are we being driven by the love of God in all this? One of the other risks, if I may say so, of what we do is that we can be incredibly process driven. <coughs> um, one of the reactions across the country for churches has been a deluge of, 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 of forms. Uh, policies, forms, paper, processes for this, processes for that. And that's okay, but it's a little bit like having a manual for fire safety. You know, particularly if you've got the New South Wales government to do it, you'd probably find there'd be a 300 page manual of all the things you should do, all the processes, who would be on the committee, and all of this, um, and probably, um, many, many, many pages of detail on those issues. And it's very easy, once you've got the manual, to say, we've done it now. And we've got the policies, we've got the manuals, we've got everything. But that does not prevent fires. 